On December 30, 2006, at around 3 p.m. in his Shibuya home in Tokyo, Mudo Yuki. The younger brother, became furious at his sister Mudo Izumi, a college student, during a conversation about their family and lifestyle. He attacked her with a weapon, hitting her head and strangling her with a towel until she died. Their parents, who were both dentists and elder brother, were not home at the time. After the murder, the perpetrator dismembered the body, cutting off body parts such as the head, limbs, and torso, and put them in separate bags. He disposed of some of the body parts in the sewer system, and hid the rest in his closet and cabinet in his room on the third floor of the house. The next day, Muto left for a military training camp in Kanagawa. That was scheduled to last until the 11th of the following month. And he tried to conceal the crime by telling his parents not to open his room. Due to the bad smell from a dead fish that a friend had given him. On January 3, 2007, the mother discovered the body in the third floor room. And reported it to the police. On January 4, the younger brother, who was at the training camp, was arrested for the murder. The victim, Azumi Muto, was a member of an entertainment agency and was learning acting and lessons to become an actress. She had auditioned for dramas, plays, and Gravia auditions multiple times, and even played a supporting role in the live-action version of the Cream Lemon series. However, her career as an actress was not going well, and she was still struggling to succeed before graduating from college, when she was victimized by a relative. The perpetrator, Yuki Muto, was a third-year student, who attended a cram school to prepare for university entrance exams. According to those around him, he had a quiet, diligent personality that went unnoticed. He used medical terminology when describing the situation of dismembering the victim's body, indicating that he had knowledge of anatomy. He often caused trouble for his family by speaking ill of his sister, who had a free-spirited personality due to her experience with running away from home. He described her as hysterical and ungrateful, but he also claimed to have dreamed of stopping her bleeding. He testified that he was under great stress from not being recognized as a responsible adult by his parents and being treated as a student. Prior to the incident, he heard his sister say, I have dreams but my brother doesn't, he interpreted it to mean that he had no chance of achieving his dreams, even if he studied hard, leading him to impulsively kill his sister. He also reportedly took a new type of antidepressant before the incident. Doctors claimed that the defendant had congenital Asperger's syndrome, and that his hidden personality exploded and led to the crime. After the incident, the parents released a handwritten note, expressing their current state of mind. The note caused controversy due to a sentence that implied, it would have been better if Azumi had apologized to her brother. First by saying, I'm sorry. In 2008, the Tokyo District Court sentenced the defendant to 17 years in prison. In the trial held in May of the same year, the defense argued that the defendant had multiple personalities, and therefore, the personality that committed the corpse mutilation was a different one, resulting in a reduction of the sentence to seven years and an acquittal on the charge of corpse mutilation. However, in the second trial held in 2009, the defendant's multiple personalities were denied, and the responsibility for corpse mutilation was imposed, resulting in a sentence of 12 years in prison. Eventually, Yuki Muto served 12 years in prison and was released on parole in 2021 after completing the sentence. During the investigation, there was a police error, where the examination committee mistook the murder weapon, the victim's clothes, and a knife for garbage and burned them. But it did not cause a big problem as they were replaced with substitutes.